Shall we pray? Father, we are here to listen to your words because your word is truth. We need understanding and wisdom. Holy Spirit, teach us. We are so young. But we need your words so that we may grow in the truth, so that we are not deceived by the world. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay, let me read Romans chapter 8, verse 1 through 4. Very simple, okay? Only four verses. Let me read it. Therefore is therefore, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who work not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. No condemnation for the Christian to them which are in Christ. Who are in Christ? Are you in Christ? You know, whosoever repent and believe in their own heart in Jesus Christ, then the Holy Spirit give a new birth. As soon as a new birth, the God baptized them who are saved, okay? Baptized them into the body of Christ. And that's why whosoever is saved, they can say, I am in Christ Jesus. You know, 5,000 years ago, Noah and his family, they entered the ark. They were entered the ark. They were in the ark, that's why they were saved, only the family. All right? And uh, the word ship in Chinese letter, you know, has a meaning, the boat, and um, number eight, and mouth. That means what? Eight mouths at eight mouths in the boat. You know, nor and his wife and three sons and three daughters-in-law, total eight people. They were in the ark, that's why they saved. Same thing. Whosoever live in these days, only those who repent of sin and believe in Jesus Christ, recognize themselves in a miserable sinner, then it's the way to enter into the body of Christ. Do you think you are in the body of Christ, Elliot and Lucky? You think so? You must be sure, okay? You know, remember, all the people living in the times of Noah, maybe 100 million people, all died because they never entered the Ark of Noah. Same thing. Unless anybody enter into Jesus Christ, you know, repenting their sin and baptize the Holy Spirit, they cannot be saved. All right? Even though the Christian was saved in Christ Jesus, if they follow the flesh, then there is condemnation. What is condemnation? Not, it doesn't mean it's judgment in hell. For Christian, no condemnation in the hell. But condemnation means guilty feeling. Even though we are saved, we sin, we always have to live with a guilty feeling. Unless you repent, uh, confess your sin. All right? Unless your sin is forgiven and cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. So, we are supposed to you know, walk after the Holy Spirit. How we can walk after the Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit, we cannot see. We cannot feel. Holy Spirit, well, who, Holy Spirit wrote the words of God. Holy Spirit came to the earth in the name of Jesus. That's why all the scripture is talking about who Jesus is. All right? So, we have to follow the words of God. We have to obey the words of God. The Bible says we obey the word of truth. It's the way to make our soul cleansed. Our soul saved, right? Our soul should be cleansed. 
you know, obeying the words of God. Many Christians never obey the words of God. That's why not clean, you know, always they not living in the joy, in peace, in righteousness, even though they're saved, okay? Whosoever enter into the body of Christ after salvation, they already delivered from the law of sin and death. The world is, you know, full of sin and death. Sinning die, sinning die, continuously. If the world system is kind of system, the law of sin and death. As soon as we believe in Jesus, we are saved through the Holy Spirit, then we are already in the law of spirit of life. Now let me take an example. Okay. Lucky and Elliot let's go to New York from here. Cross the country. And Lucky wanna ride car. He wanna he just like to drive a car. That's why oh I wanna drive my car. Elliot, no. <laughs> Elliot, how would he go? To New York. Huh? Fly, right? Probably, Lucky, oh, in the beginning is fine, you know, to maybe Palm Spring is fine. But after Palm Spring, sleepy. Rain, you know? Oh, the dark night, oh, so sleepy. So hungry, right? Always threatened by the situation, right? Oh, always, you know, trouble. Have to, you know, she has to stop car and stay in motel. It takes a long time, many, many days, right? But Elliot, he has wisdom. That's why I'm not, I'm not gonna drive. Okay, I ask my, my, my dad to give me her ticket. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Air ticket, right? For example, first class air ticket, right? You on board airplane. You don't have to worry about it or rain or sleep, you know, whatever. Oh yeah, you know, the captain, you know, captain fly for yourself, right? That's why you can sleep. You can ask studios, oh give me coffee. Oh you don't drink coffee, right? <laughs> You know, I want to sleep, I want meal, whatever, I want a bibimbap, you know, for example. And then, if you just sleep, you know, four and five hours, you already find out yourself already arrived in the John F. Kennedy Airport in New York. Same thing, all the sinners try to strive themselves, you know, in the world, oh, how we can make the money, you know. How can I overcome this problem, problem, over problem, you know? Many things happen, you know, many, sometimes, you know, fired by the company, whatever. Always, you know, problem and problem. It is what? The law of sin and death. All suffering pain. But somebody repent, not believing Jesus Christ, for not believing Jesus Christ and receive him, and enter into Jesus Christ, it's just like an airplane, much better than an airplane, in his body, there's the Holy Spirit, you know, that you're already in the airplane, that means you're already in the law of spirit of life. See, that's the reason we have to believe in Jesus. All right, then how, how people can be free from the law of sin and death. That's why God sent His only one Son in likeness of our sinner, right? Just like a sinner, in likeness of sinful flesh. And God, God, you know, transfer all our sin in His flesh. In His flesh, you know. And God, make a judgment on him, his flesh, okay? That's why all our sins were on his body, and when he died, our sin was taken away. Even though our, all the sins of the world, sin of the world taken away, but we have to believe him. Contract should be signed 
false parties, right? A and B. Jesus signed on the contract. I took all your sin already through my blood. I pay for all your sin with my blood. Even though you signed a contract, unless you sign on it, no effect. That's the reason why we have to believe in. To, before believing, we have to repent. Oh, we, we didn't know you. That's why we are, in a, we are struggling in the world at, where you know, the, sin, uh, the law of sin and death. I didn't know you, but now I want to enter in you and to live it you now a law of spiritual life. Okay? Very simple. That's why, therefore, the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. In other words, God justified us just because we believed in Him, which took away the sin of the law. All right? The righteousness of the law might be fulfilled. It means what? When we believe in Jesus, even though we sinned, many sins, but God recognized we have never sinned. Only Jesus sinned, okay? That's why God made a severe judgment on His flesh. To make him die on the cross. The righteousness of God. In other words, God recognizes us as if we have kept all the law of God, but we have never kept. Just because Jesus died for our sin of the law, God has already judged our sin unto the flesh of Jesus. Our all the sin of the world is on the flesh of Jesus. That's why he got the judgment. That's why he died. Jesus is God, he cannot die because he, is, uh, he doesn't have a sin. He died, and that means why he took our sin. Without our sin, without the sin of the world, he cannot die, even though he want to die. Okay, because he is God. We are already delivered from the law of sin and death. Now, we are living in the law of spirit of life, that's, that's, the why, that's why we have to walk after the spirit, not the flesh anymore. That's the reason we have to read the Bible, we meditate the words of God, that we hear the words of God, so that we have keep all His word in our heart, so that whenever we pray, whenever we think, Holy Spirit remind us of the words, what we heard, what we read, what we meditated, okay? Yeah, that without the words of God, nothing. You cannot walk after the, after the Spirit. That's the reason we have only one book given. The words of God, only one, one book. How many pages? Maybe a thousand pages, right? One book. We have to keep all these words. Now when you pray, Holy Spirit reminds us, as, as you just put in many information in the computer, all right, then you hook up in you know, an AC cord, and then um, you know, play, uh, play with the operating system, then you can, you can command many kind of information through the internet, right? Yeah, because the all information is there already. And the internet in the world is full of you know, the words in the, in the world, only um, uh, somebody made words, you know, where they are, in, they're living in, in the law of sin and death. Now, we have to fill our body, our soul, with the words of God. Okay, the words of God dwells in the spirit of life, right? Law of spirit of life. Yeah. You know, worldly people try to feel all their information. So that even Christians, you know, take a look at it instead of words of, words of God, they may follow the flesh, not follow the Spirit. That's why we have to keep trying to receive the words of God in season or non season. All right? That's the reason why. Uh, only Christian 2000 years ago. They gather together into the church every day. They hear the words of God from apostles. They pray together. They serve, they, you know, minister to each other. All right? Every day. 
What about this day, Christian? How many times you just reserve for the law? Just a little, right? Poquito, see? But much information from the world, right? Poquito information from the words of God is a problem. That's why it's ending up with the following, uh, you know, walking after the flesh. And that is the reason why many Christians still live in the feeling of guilt instead of peace and joy, righteousness. All right? This is good news, you know that? Already in the law of life and spirit. Don't forget that. You are already in, in the plane, much better than jumbo jet in the body of Christ. Okay? You can fly everywhere. So that's why when Jesus, you know, appears in the air, when you rapture, you're just like you know, Jesus, okay? To be married to Jesus Christ and forever we can live with Him. We can develop, explore many stars with Jesus Christ. Because if He's the one who filled all things, there's a Jesus, you know, in the beginning, Jesus, when He just created, you know, heaven and earth, He just made all things, you know, full in the earth, same thing. In the future when Jesus come, we shall make a trouble to the universe. We have to, we pass by, you know, Milky Way. We just pass through, you know, black hole, you know, group of you know, stars, you know, we can fly with Jesus Christ. Why? To explore all the stars so that just like earth, all those stars should be filled with all things which is created by Lord Jesus Christ together with us. It, you know, it is a real vision, okay? If you open your eyes to see that kind of vision, you can overcome the world, okay? Deceived, deceived by the devil. Amen. Amen. That's why you have to search the scripture. You know, I heard that Stacy, Stacy went to school. He just, you know, his friend gathered together. If you don't believe in Jesus, you cannot be raptured. They say they have never known about that. I believe you also do that, right? Yes. Yes, I believe it so. I'm so happy to hear that. Right? You grow. And you can what? You can overcome the philosophies, wrong teachings. Okay, you can teach your friends. All right? Through... through Oh, yeah. All right. You can teach them. Yeah, Holy Holy Spirit, you know, can teach them. So, you know, step by step, gradually, gradually, gradually. Who knows, you know, looking, going to be pastor. Who knows that? Nobody knows. I didn't want to be pastor either. But God made me pastor. You know, you have to deny yourself to follow Jesus. All right, he died for you. We are nothing, right? He died for me, died for you. Before him, you cannot say no. In Jesus Christ, everything is yes, there's no. Because he died for us. Our parents never died for us. God died for me to give you life. Amen? So, so we, got, we have to be Always in righteousness and peace and joy, following the Spirit of God, that means the words of God, not following our flesh, not following our lust of flesh, the lust of eyes, the pride of life, all three things, you have destroyed them. All right? Deny them. Then you shall be successful life forever. Amen? Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us the words of God. Thank you for baptizing us in the body of Christ. Thank you for deliver us, delivering us from the law of sin and death to the law of spirit of life. We are dedicated to follow, walk after the spirit instead of the flesh. Thank you, Father. In this week, we are ready to preach the gospel. You believe in Jesus Christ, you are saved to go to heaven. If not, unfortunately, you shall be separated from God eternally. The place is called hell. 
nobody, God doesn't want anybody to go to hell except the devil. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray.